and welcome back to my channel Rob Nerland Fit and my home bulk program series that I'm going through right now is doing in the ritual weigh-in right now so we're weighing in and at just under 234 so 233.9 pounds right now uh, five weeks in up 10 pounds since the starter so or 9.5 pounds breakfast back to the old uh, five eggs uh, two slices of multi-grain toast and 500 mils 2% milk yeah I know about 900 calories and uh, you know the drill I do that quite often uh, it's one of my more favorite breakfasts that keeps me satiated for a while uh, and even though I said I was satiated I decided to go to Popeyes today treat myself so I had the four piece uh, Popeyes combo and I tell you that biscuit really that, that's the uh, that's the weight gainer right there that's 240 calories and I can eat four of those no problem then I am um, doing the gut health thing, although probably I should be adjusting my diet uh, instead, but you know, taking in some yogurt each day, eight ounces, and I take that along with a, a scoop of clean gain or a scoop of whey isolate. Um, slam that, 620 total calories, and usually do that as a pre-workout meal. So today we're training back, so that's what I did before my back. Um, and then I had a bunch of spaghetti that I ate for a couple more meals during the day. Um, it worked out to about a thousand calories total, getting some carbs and some protein, you know, about 50 grams of protein. So those are pretty good. And the one thing I did do was, uh, go grab a delicious snack. I don't know if you're from Canada. They, these are good. The all caramels. I mean, it's just fat and sugar, but it is delicious. And then final meal of the day was another, just throwing it back up again, another spaghetti and meat sauce. Um, and of course my milk that I've been drinking taking down at least two liters of milk every day. So the day's total macros break down to 5,354. Carbs were 560. Protein 288, so under that 300 thing I'm shooting for. And fats were pretty high again, up over 200. So when you add that, those fats, you really get the uh, calorie count up uh, during the day. I'll, I'll usually find I break the 5,000 mark, you know, when I get the uh, Popeyes or anything that's really high fat. So... It's delicious and adds a, it's an easy way to get calories, but it's probably not a great way. I'm pretty high in the fat. It shouldn't be probably higher than 150 for me, but I'm kind of just eating and uh, training and seeing how it goes. Uh, we're just going to warm up. Oh, man, I'm bad at chin-ups, I realized. You know, as I put this weight on, the chin-ups, uh, my strength has kind of gone down. And I'm just uh, mainly just doing these for the most part to just warm up and feel the lats for the for the workout um and the one thing you'll notice is i kind of cut this workout short today especially when i get to the very end and uh some of the uh deadlift rack pull variations i'm doing just because my lower back is really uh troubling me right now because i've really added a lot of volume uh to my legs started trying to get just doing squat days uh and the one thing i've noticed is my lower back is just sore from doing that and it carries over and affects my back workout so I'm going to have to adjust for that uh, going forward but uh, I'll get the rest of the workout I'll just throw it up here throw in some music I guess and uh, let me know if you guys like this I'll keep posting you know it's accountability and keep grinding and uh, come back for more